Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to present an extra credit activity for the Computer Concepts students. Okay, so my challenge for you is to create an amortization schedule Excel worksheet um, like the one that I've got here as an example. So although you don't have a starting file, you can see a bit about it. Um, so for instance, there are some basic payment loan calculator information over here in the top left corner. Beneath that we get some summary data. And the real stuff is over here with the amortization table or, or amortization schedule. And this is where it starts to get a little bit trickier. So once it's complete, a user should be able to interact with this table using only several of these cells. I've highlighted them in green. So by changing loan information, whether it's the amount, the interest rate, the number of months, payment start date, and extra payment, it'll update everything else on here. Let's go ahead and run through a scenario. So I'm going to change the loan to 50000 I'll change the interest rate to 6%. I'll change the number of months to 20 months. And I'm going to change the starting date to 1-1-2018. And you'll notice these changes updated the beginning balance for the first payment. The interest rate was properly calculated using the interest rate over here. The number of months show um, 20 payments, 20 months. And of course, all those dates are on there. I can also put in an extra payment. I'll put in an extra payment of $500. That extra payment will populate into the extra payment column. Now when you start to put in an extra payment, several interesting things will happen. For instance, although this loan was scheduled to be 20 months, by putting in an extra payment, it shortens the loan payments to 17 months. Now when that happens, when you start to put in an extra payment, the payment calculation is very likely going to be different on the last payment. So you'll notice the last payment in payment 17 here did not need to be a full calculated payment. So that's an important feature of this. And of course, an extra payment was not made in that last payment. So sometimes the last payment is going to be less than the normal calculated payment. Now let's run through a couple of other scenarios because sometimes the last payment will be a full payment but only a partial extra payment. Let's see if we can't trick it into doing that. If I were to change the extra payment from 500 to 1100, you'll notice in this situation a full payment is made on the last payment but only a partial extra payment is made. So that's going to require some if functions to look at the remaining ending balance to see what needs to be adjusted the full payment versus the extra payment. And let's go with a couple of rules. The last payment will never exceed the calculated payment. And the extra payment will never exceed the, the entered extra payment. So I'm not going to do an extra payment of $1,200 if necessary. If I need more extra payment, then that just means it has to go to a, to a new row. So it gets a little bit tricky with the if functions, but you'll notice everything zeroes out. There's a list of functions that I used on here. Some are more critical than others. Some were essential. Some were mostly just for aesthetics and some summary data. Some are easy. Some are challenging. You'll notice that conditional formatting was used in several places. So for one thing, as the loan shortens, you'll see that anything after the last payment row is blinked out. So there's no shading or font and, and stuff in there. So we want to do that kind of thing. So if this was a 15 month loan, of course with an extra payment it pays off in 12, it stops after that 12th row, after everything zeroes out. You're also going to notice that the current month row, the current payment row, is highlighted a different color than everything else, which means I have to look at those dates. You'll see this happen if I were to change the starting date from 6-6-2018. There we go. November of 2018, that row is still highlighted because I'm filming this or recording this on November of 2018. So the current month row is always highlighted. And that kind of summarizes what you're going to be creating here if you choose to tackle this. In the, the next week or so, 
I'll put out a solution video for these various features so everyone can see how it's created. But for now, here's the challenge. Um, go ahead and pause your screen and make a note of how this spreadsheet's going to look. There's no Excel file, starting file to download. Just create something that looks like this and then ultimately behaves like this. Take care.